welcome back to Ricky Bobby's Reef, Southern Ontario Palms and Tropicals. I'm still homesick, so mind the sniffling. I got lots of time on my hands, so uh, I know a couple people asked for a skimmer update on the 65.4 water box. <clears throat> so this is a Cadlites PLS 50 Elite version two. And now a company called Mode, M-O-D-E, Mode Aquariums. I believe they're the company that sells it for Cadlites now. Uh, it's an American company. Um, great skimmer, terrible customer service, but a great skimmer. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. Look at, as you can tell in the cup, you get nothing but the best skimmate. And what's interesting about this is there's no adjustments. There's no air adjustments or anything like that. You basically, there's a water line. Can't even see it. There it is. There's the min number right there. See, it says min. There's a min and a max water line level on the canister. And that's it. You set it with the back hang on adjustment, or you can take that off and drop it in a sump, whatever you want. But as long as you have it at that adjustment, this thing skims perfect. Um, it's coming up now almost two years that I've had this, this tank and this skimmer. Uh, two years this January. And this thing is unbelievable. I, uh, I clean the pump out every, I don't know, six months to get the, some of the limpets out of it. And then I clean some of the slime out of it. But you know what? Like all the slime and crap that's built up inside this thing makes it skim better. It just runs amazing. Um, I have to clean the cup out every five or six days. Uh, it depends on how heavily I'm dosing amino acids and phytoplankton and things like that. If you do a lot of that, you'll, you'll tend to get a lot more buildup in there. Um, but it skims unreal. Very easy to work on. And uh, it's also hooked up to a ice cap CO2 scrubber, which works very well. It's non-recirculating. Um, I'll show you guys here again. It's, it's an update. It's back in here. There she is. This is the small version. Another great product. Works well. As you can see, the, the stuff is like 50-50 right now. Maybe another week left out of it. I'm getting about three weeks out of a, out of a pack. So it does a great job of helping with the pH. So a lot of people chase pH issues. And, you know, 7.8 is quite the common pH in people that are chasing pH. And, of course, 8.3 is what we want. Um, so one thing I've learned is this. The reason why my pH has been low is not because of carbon dioxide. So here's my carbon dioxide meter, and it's 400. Well, that's the same as outside here in Ontario, Canada. So the inside of this house, they always talk about the CO2 buildup from people and animals. That's wrong. This is a big house. So the reason why my pH is low, I believe, or has been low, is because I love fish. And inside this 70-gallon, four-foot tank, I think I have nine or ten fish, which is like really max, right? Two chromis, yellow tang, uh, flame angel, a pair of clowns. There's a royal grandma that's hiding in this cave. I have a hawkfish. Two wrasses. They're hiding because I was just cleaning the tank. Two wrasses and a mandarin. And oh, and a, um, a sand sifting goby. So, the reason why I believe the pH in this tank never, without help, got above 7.8 is because the fish are consuming the oxygen and keeping the pH low. And that's a lot, of, a lot of things we forget when we're talking about pH in fish tanks. And the reason why I know this is because this tank has one little fish in it, little sand sifting goby at the moment, okay? Same water, same everything, and the pH is 8.2. So why is it so much higher? Well, I believe because there's less consumption of oxygen, not the CO2, but the opposite. That's just me. So anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to say about that. So CO2 scrubber will help if you have a lot more fish load. Because um, I, I did have the, uh, the sprays from the return pump up in the air, making more turbid water. But what it did was it just splashed salt all over the lights and all over the screen and made a mess. 
So what I, and then I went back down to having them pointed under the water a little bit again, and my pH didn't change. So it didn't really make much of a difference. The CO2 scrubber with the skimmer is more than enough to do that. So great combination, ice cap, uh, small, medium. You can, even do the, you can do the large too. You can do whatever you want. You won't have to change the media as much. Other than that, it'll even scrub more CO2. It'll just cost you more money. So I might experiment and go larger next year and see how that works. But so far, so good. But yeah, so the update, CAD lights, PLS, Great skimmer. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that froth in there, guys. So it's funny, not many people know about this. I gotta thank Antonio at Eat Sleep Reef. He's the one who recommended this to me two years ago. And uh, he was right. For an all-in-one tank like this, this is a great product. So if you guys are wondering or looking for a skimmer for a water box, something like this, the 50.3, 65.4, great skimmer. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.